yourself. Mahali pazuri pabeke unaweza kujipata. On the side of the ship. Upande wa kondoo. Jesus name. Thank you so much Bishop. Thank you Bishop Kosge one minute. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Bwana shifiwe. Hallelujah Kisi. Hallelujah Kisi. We are in Kusi Stadium. Tuko katika uwanja wa Kusi. The place that God spoke big things in the year 2005. Mahali ambapo Bwana alinena mambo makubwa mwaka 2005 which affected the whole nation of Kenya. Ambayo yaliathiri taifa lote la Kenya. And we have come here. Na tumekuja hapa. We have seen something big. Tumeona kitu kikubwa hapa Kisi. In Kusi. Hapa Kusi. Many have been healed here. Wengi wameponywa hapa. And the Lord has, has had mercy upon children. Na Bwana amewarehemu watoto. That means the church in Kisi was like a child. Hiyo inamaanisha kanisa la Kisi lilikuwa kama mtoto. And God has put mercy upon a child. Naye Bwana ameleta rehema kwa mtoto. Yes, God has put mercy upon a child. Bwana ameleta rehema juu ya mtoto. So it is time for Kisi to wake wa up. Kwa hivyo na wakati wa kisi kukoma sasa. Never will you remain a child again. Hamutabaki watoto tena. Grow up to maturity because Jesus is coming. Lakini endeni mkakomae maana Yesu yuwaja. If you had and here to listen. Kama ulikuwa na sikio la kusikia. You see how the prophet of the Lord said, "Come Lord Jesus, come." Ulisikia bila nabii alivyosema njoo Bwana Yesu. What does it mean? Hiyo inamaanisha nini? Not only to Kisi but to the nations of the earth. Sio kwa Kisi pekee lakini kwa mataifa ya dunia. In Revelation chapter 22. Ofuno Yohana 22. Ukisema mkwanzia 20. Come Lord Jesus. Njoo Bwana Yesu. Is the bride is ready. Hiyo inamaanisha biarusi yu tayari. For the bridegroom. Na kwa bwana harusi. So we need to mature up. Kwa hiyo unahitaji kukamaa. I am asking you a question. Na waulizeni swali. Are you ready? Je, mko tayari? I have a challenge for you now. Na haya changamoto kwenu sasa. I have a challenge for you. Nina kwa changamoto kwenu. Blessed are you. Mumebarikiwa nyinyi. That can come champion this message of repentance. Ambao mnaweza kusikia ujumbe huu wa toba. Even in other nations. Hata kama taifa mengine. And invite the man of God to bring such a blessing to your country. Na kumkaribisha nabii wa Mungu aleta baraka kama hii katika nchi yenu. For us Kenya. Lakini kwa tu sisi Kenya. We we have a very big responsibility. Tunalo jukumu kubwa. We don't have time to waste. Hatuna wakati wa kuharibu. The kingdom of God is here. Ufalme wa Mungu hapa. Daniel did not see our days. Daniel did not see our days. Daniel alikuwa na siku zetu. But the Lord told him it is not it does not belong to you. Lakini Bwana kamwambia si yako. The end of the days. Lakini ni ya mwisho wa nyakati. And we are in these days. Na tuko katika hizi siku. And the Bible says. Na Biblia inasema. Men will be made spotless. Wengi wata They will be bright and clean. Wata tubu na kusikisha. They will be purified. Wata oshwa. It is our time of purification. Ni wakati watu wa utakaso. So we must be purified. Thank Thank you. Thank you. The, the wicked will not understand. Waomba watalewa. The wise will understand. Thank It you. is the days of wisdom we must understand. Thank you the Lord bless you Bishop. Thank you so much. Now my daughter here. Binti wangu hapa. Just one word. One word not more. Hallelujah. I know you love Hallelujah. Jesus. I know. I know. Hallelujah kisi. <laughs> Hallelujah kisi. I bless the Lord so much. Na mbariki bwana sana. I cannot believe what I'm seeing. Siwaziamini kile ninachoona. And I bless the Lord so much. Na ninambariki bwana sana. For allowing us me and you to live at such a time. Kwa kuturuhusu sisi mimi na wewe tuishi wakati kama huu. Kenya see this. Kenya sikia hii. The nations of the earth are in anguish and perplexity. Wa mataifa ya dunia yako katika huzuni na katika kushangaa. Because of the roaring and the tossing of the seas. Kwa sababu ya kuyumba yumba na kusukwa sukwa kwa bahari. And here we are na hii hapa tuko. The Lord is loving us. Bwana anatupenda. So as the prophet of God is telling us. Kwa hivyo jinsi nabii wa Mungu alivyotuambia. Let us preserve this. Wacha tuhifadhi hii. This is life. Hii ni maisha. May the Lord bless you so much. Bwana wabariki sana. Thank you. Asante. Let us have a worship from the band. Wacha tuwe na wimbo wa kuabudu kutoka kwa bendi. The bishops can remain the bishop the bishops and then the rest will go. And this worship is as we step out. Na huu wimbo wa kuabudu ni kama tunapotoka.
everybody stand up and lift up your hands I want to pray for the widows and the orphans the widows and the orphans mighty father we have seen your goodness here the cripples have walked here and the blind eyes have opened here Jehovah Father the deaf have heard the mute have spoken for the first time on the altar tumors dissolved paralytics healed broken backs healed babies that were born blind healed eyes open babies whose necks were weak you strengthened and legs and many other more miracles I want to say thank you my father thank you so much Jehovah thank you my Lord thank you my Lord thank you my Lord I love you my Lord I love you so much my Lord and now the widows and the orphans Lord bring them home with joy with a smile on their faces that they may find help peace rest happiness provision help comfort friends Lord let people support them let people bless them let them find sugar at the door some kilo of rice at the door a kilo of meat two kilos three kilograms of beef some fish salt match boxes paraffin even houses be built for them even tuition be paid for their children even clothes and garments that they may not walk in shame but that they may know that you watch over them that you are Jehovah the God of the widows the watcher of the widows and the orphans and Lord as we finish the meeting I want to ask you Jehovah to slow down the drivers slow them down Jehovah this meeting has been so glorious let the devil not take any part of this meeting Jehovah don't allow him Jehovah I have decreed with my prophetic tongue that the drivers will slow down and they'll bring the revival bride of Christ home very safe and happy listen to me drivers I am praying for you in the name of Jesus don't worry whether you reach late but please just reach safe precious people the Lord has visited this land release me now to go to Sweden in the name of Jesus Shalom 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 and Shalom may the Lord bless you if the Lord did not heal you if you are still blind or deaf or mute or whatever there is a next meeting the biggest of all is going to take place in Kisumu end of year end of year and we have more than 10 pastors coming 13 pastors from Sweden 13. Sweden alone 13 pastors and India two bishops are coming from the United States from all over the world they are coming to be part of this revival lift up your hands everywhere receive the blessings of the Lord go home with blessings I love you in the name of Jesus
Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. I love you. Na wapenda. In the name of the Lord. Katika jina la Bwana. Go home with peace. Endeni nyumbani na amani. The drivers. Madereva. Drive slowly. Mwendesha polepole. We will take care of you. Tutawashughulikia. Every meeting. Katika kila mkutano. To give you where to stay. Tuwapatie mahali pa kulala. Where to sleep. Mahali pa kulala. And food. Na chakula. But please. Lakini tafadhali. This is the bride of Christ. Hii ni pia harusi wa Kristo. Heaven is waiting. Bingu inangoja ya. Don't destroy them. Msiwaharibu. Bring them home safe. Waleta nyumbani kwa usalama. Shalom. 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 Todaraba. How excellent please somebody sing very fast very very fast somebody sing there How excellent is your name oh Say 